we are heading to KL Central. We're going to have a little wander around there today. There is the National Museum, the National Mosque is there, and there's like a lake garden, deer park, butterfly garden. There seems to be loads of things centered around the area, so that is where we're going today. We've got off the train at KL Central and oh, we're going to fall down this big um, hole in the pavement and we've got to get across the highway to get to the museum and I just can't find a bridge or a subway or anything. We're stuck. I think we're going to have to try and uh, cross here. This will be fun. We've made it halfway. We made it. That was no mean feat. It was about 10 minutes to cross. sign to the museum. If anyone has been to Kuala Lumpur and knows a good way to get to the museum from KL Central, I would really like to know about it because there's nothing on the map and we couldn't find a way. But hey, we're here. There's definitely a better way to enter this place than the way we've come. We've come kind of the back route I think because that's where like walking through. There's like some museum pieces just out here get into the National Museum it is five for an adult and two for a child which is about in British pounds like 20 people even poundish for me so nothing really me and Stephen were just talking isn't it funny British people there's like a, a what's it called a barrier thing yeah. across there British people you would never get British people going to be on that barrier whereas the Chinese just do not care they just climb over the barriers they, don't, they just don't care at all, do they? It's funny. The difference in like the culture and what we do and things. British people are so reserved. They're like, oh, don't break any rules. But yes. <laughs> do you like the aircon? Stephen's happy to come in just for the aircon for a bit. We are currently finding out all about how the Portuguese conquered Malacca, which is actually where we might be going next. So it's quite interesting. I think we're just about at the end of the museum. It's quite interesting to be honest. I have had no knowledge uh, whatsoever of uh, Malaysia's history at all. And yeah, it's been quite interesting. I'm gonna probably, for a bit like Stephen's homeschooling, I think we'll maybe find some uh, videos and things to maybe watch this evening or at some point in the, over the next few days about the history of Malaysia because it was taken over by the Portuguese and the Dutch and. Uh, the British obviously at some point so yeah it's got a colourful past that's been interesting finding out a little bit about all of that I kind of I'm not very good at taking a lot in at museums I kind of get a broad outline of museums and then go home and like find out the rest of the information myself we're going out now it's nice and cool in here you're not gonna like it outside Stephen no <laughs> this is the way we should have come in this is much better look outside we're heading over to the lake gardens but I mean I know I say this a lot but it's actually really really hot today it's too warm well it's definitely too warm for us particularly to be wandering around out and about it's incredibly hot so I don't know what we're gonna do it's too like we can't spend the whole day out and about can we so I don't know oh there was an escalator but no, we've got to do the stairs instead. 
This is the skinniest escalator I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, so over this bridge, the lake garden, then we'll see how we feel because it is definitely a warm one. Like, I feel like I'm just this even it's like I can't breathe. I feel like I'm just like breathing in this hot air and it, it, I can't breathe properly. I've just been having a little look on the map and there is so many things around this area to do. There's the National Planetarium, there's the Islamic Arts Museum, there's the Royal Malaysia Police Museum, National Mosque. And then inside the lake garden, and then inside the lake gardens, there's the deer park, orchard garden, bird park. There's like so many things around this area. Also, I think we're quite near Brickfields, which is the I want to say it's like the Little India, but it could it could be Chinatown. No, I think it's like the Little India place. I don't know where I'm going here. We don't know what we've stumbled across, but we've stumbled across something in the park. We're by the National Space Agency. I think that building there is the National Space Agency. Oh, what's this? Observatory. Let's walk up. I can't even walk up, that scares me. You walk up. <laughs> Because there's no sides on it, it just freaks me out. What can you see from up there? Oh. <laughs> a car. <laughs> can you see the lake? There should be a lake over that side, I think. Just nothing. Just. And we've got like a little mini Stonehenge, maybe. Oh, it is Stonehenge, it says. It's a Stonehenge replica. This is the police museum that we're just walking past. Stephen doesn't fancy it though, you're not fancy going in now. We are at the National Mosque. I have done something stupid again and I don't think I've come dressed for the occasion. I don't know whether I'll be able to go in. Okay, looks like they may give me something to wear. I don't know. Okay. Okay. okay, I am sufficiently dressed to go in the mosque. Stephen apparently can go in like that, just take his shoes off. I don't know why. because I'm absolutely boiling in this outfit. Oh no, yeah, look. Here's the main prayer room. Main prayer hall. has this free bus service and so we kind of figured we would try and see what it's like see if it's easy to navigate around not that transport is in any way expensive at all but we just thought we'd give it a go here's the mosque on the outside by the way i don't think i showed you we're just walking around the outside of it trying to find how we cross another big freeway motorway thing We found a bus stop. This is what the bus is called, the Go KL. And it's just outside the mosque. The mosque is there, the entrance. And there's a bus stop here where we can get a free bus service around the sea. And here it is, this is what it looks like. Little pinky purple bus that you can just hop on and off. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Where are you going? Where 
over. Up that there that we've just gone past is Independent Square that we were talking about when Malaysia came, became independent. And that flagpole, I, I think I've read somewhere that it's like one of the tallest flagpoles in the world possibly. now and I think we're trying to find somewhere to grab something to eat before we head home. I forgot to vlog our food. We had some lovely food. We're now back home and we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening. It's gotten quite late. It's like half past eight. So I'm going to do a little bit of work and I found a documentary on YouTube that I think I might watch about the, it was kind of a civil war in Malaysia but they didn't really, they didn't call it a war. It was, they called it, a, they called it the emergency. So I'm going to just kind of watch it and find out some more about it after going to the museum today. It's sparked my interest in it a little bit and I'd like to know more about obviously like the country that we are currently visiting. So I'm going to watch that. Like I said, do some work and then go to bed, have a nearly night. I need a nearly night. I was awake about half past five this morning. Very early. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow. In fact, yeah, that's what I'm going to do tonight as well. I'm going to make a little, me and Stephen are trying to do like a little plan, rough plan of where we want to go in Malaysia and kind of what route we're going to do because I have no idea at the moment what route we're doing. Although I think we might be going down to Malacca. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sort that out this evening. I will see you tomorrow. So good night.